Iga, big bad Iga. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. She takes the first set. And of course, I told you guys to take Iga Svigantek to win this tournament. That's right. Coming into this tournament, she was the future tournament winner. But it's not over yet. She has to hold on for at least one more set. And look, let's go back a little bit. I also told you to take Iga Sviantec to beat Sabalenka last year at this tournament in the final. I told you to take Iga to beat Sabalenka at the U.S. Open semifinal. Now, that was a heartbreaker. But I also told you to take Sabalenka to beat Iga Sviantec at the WTA finals. So, yes, those are all public picks. So many picks, guys. It's getting hard for me to find them and load them. Uh, in the throwback section. But nonetheless, guys, Sabalenka, I feel that her facial expressions are just showing signs that she's about to break mentally and this match it's it's going to go downhill pretty quickly. She's going to have to regain her composure and get it together. Now, coming into this match, she's uh she's lost 22 games, right? 22 games while Iga's lost 13 games. So overall, I mean, of course, Anjabor had to withdraw and retire yesterday due to injury. So that definitely uh, kind of uh, helped Iga's number coming into this match. But I feel Sabalenka just hasn't been playing her best tennis in this tournament. She looked good against Potapova, who doesn't use any spin. That's a given. But also for every two aces she blasted this tournament, of course, she leads the tournament in aces with 18. Uh, she's given up a double fault. So for every two aces, you give one back. Not great, great tennis. And, of course, Iga Sviantek. Let's take a trip down memory lane. She destroyed Sabalenka after losing the first set. She came back in impressive fashion. And check out the throwback video I did a couple days ago about this match. Pretty entertaining uh, somewhere down there in the video list. But Iga Sviantek, look, she won the... Uh, she won the U.S. Open, and I say it all the time. If you want to be a star in tennis, you have to win the U.S. Open. Simple as that. But let's get back to Stuggard. Can she retain her championship here in Stuggard? That's right. Can she defend it successfully? We're going to see. After the first set, 14 winners from Sabalenka, 18 unforced errors. Iga is really keeping the pressure on her. One for four, break point, 24, 25% conversion rate there. Look, that's all it took. And she's winning 78% of her first serves. And Sabalenka, 58% is not going to get it done. Sabalenka's average in the 80 percentile range on her first serve. That's a difference maker in this first set. 